Hi everyone! In this video, I am going to show you how I achieved this look, the big S wave. Um, so if you wanted to know how I did that, just stay tuned. And um, the tool you will need is some kind of um, hair curling wand. The one I am using is from Babyless or Babyless. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And that is the biggest size they do. Um, I think it's from 32 to 25 millimeters barrels. So I am going to use that to wrap my hair around the barrel um, to achieve this look. And I purchased this um, clampless curling wand um, ages ago. I think it's about $40. Um, and I purchased that from Beauty Bay. So um, if you are interested, you can go on to beautybay.com and then have a look. Um, they have some awesome hair tools or skincares, you know, makeups, all those stuff on there. And a um, really good thing is they do um, free international shipping. So yeah, um, check it out if you want to. Before you're curling your hair, you always want to spray some kind of heat protections. Um, so this one I'm using is the Tresemme um, Heat Hammer Protections. Um, so I'm just going to spray all over my hair. And then I'm also going to wait for it to dry because I found um, the curling wand is works better um, when your hair is totally dry. Um, otherwise, it will kind of have like smoke coming out. So um, yeah, it doesn't look very good. So um, the curling wand does come with um, different settings. And there's two buttons, one's on, one's off, obviously. And I think come with 25 settings. So you can turn um, from 1 to 25. I am going to use the highest setting, which is number 25. And then I'm just going to grab my hair. Um, I'm also going to curl them outwards. Um, the section I'm getting is probably about one inch or just just a little bit over one inch um, for the width. And then I just wrap that onto the curling wand and then pointing down the barrel um, vertically, so pointing downwards. So um, here I'm just wrapping it around and then um, going outwards. Um, and what I do is I wrap the bottom part of my hair, I mean the root part of my hair, onto the barrel first. And then I leave there for a few seconds. And then I wrap the rest of the hair onto the barrel. Um, simply because it's a lot easier to curl down the end because you have less hair, but up onto the roots you have a lot more hair, so um, it takes a bit longer um, for your hair to be curled. That's why I wrap that on there first and then leave it there for a few seconds. Also by doing this way your hair will get less damage, um, also have less split ends. So just keep doing that and then until you finish all of your hair. Now once I have um, finished curling all my hair, I am just going to fix my fringe. Um, I am going to use my GHD straightener. I'm just going to curl my fringe um, inwards a little bit um, because it's not long enough to flip outwards. So I'm, I'm going to um, curl them inwards. So um, I'm just doing that.
Now the uh, most important part to achieve that really soft S waves, um, all you need to do is get a brush. Um, here I'm using my ball bristles, so you need to carefully brush your hair out. So make them a lot looser. To add a little bit more volume, I am going to tease my hair. Also, I am going to hairspray all over just to set everything in place. But if you personally don't like using hairspray, which is totally fine, um, this curling wand I have used for many, many times, the curl actually lasts a really long time even without using hairspray. And the last thing I am going to do is adding a little bit hair serum into my hair. Um, I'm going to just focus on the midsection to the ends. So that will give you hair a lot more shine and also protect your hair as well. The one I am using is Chi Silk Infusion, which I have been using for a very long time. It's a really good product. Um, I have heard a lot of reviews, some people complain the smell says it smells like men's cologne, but honestly it doesn't really bother me. It does kind of smell like men's cologne, but yeah, it doesn't really bother me. And it's a really awesome product, so I love it. Now we are done. So here it is the finished look.